Evening guys, welcome to another episode of the Beauty Berserker with me, Matt, and I hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever you're getting up to, whatever you've been doing. Just got in from work and I've got another review for you. Now before we start, massive huge thanks to each and every one of you guys subscribing, watching my videos, enjoying my videos, commenting, because this is not about me. This whole Instagram thing, Viking Beard Matt over there and on here, it's not about me, it's about small brands. Small companies, small businesses, individuals and stuff that are making some cracking products. Now, as a rule, when we go out and buy something, we tend to just go for what we normally get, which tends to be from the big companies and stuff like that, businesses and stuff. And they've kind of got loads and loads of cash that they can phone to advertising, promoting and marketing their products that these smaller little brands don't have. That they've almost got to work five times harder in order to get their products noticed, seen and out onto the market, which these larger brands, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this about every single brand out there, they tend to kind of like, they've created their name and with some of them, their kind of product quality deteriorates because they forget they've almost got customers out there that are buying their stuff and it's kind of like the name sells the products as opposed to the products being really, really good in which it was up there for in the first place. So it's purely about the small brands. Now, I have done a review for these guys around about a week, two weeks ago, um, which was Gunslingers UK. Uh, they sent through a matte pomade, which was amazing. Um, it was a water-based uh, pomade for your hair. And they sent through, because I was very interested to kind of like see what their matte pomade was like compared to their classic pomade. Now, for those of you who don't, know exactly what pomade is. Classic, true pomade kind of used to be in the whole rock and roll era, if you've ever watched Grease and everything, musical when they're sort of like um, all the teddy boys, rockers and stuff like that, greasers, combing their hair back, slick back hairstyles, pompadours and stuff like that. It's obviously, if you don't know, had a massive revival. There are people going back to that thing. A lot of barbers are now doing those sort of pompadour styles and stuff like that, which is great to see because I love that whole sort of rockabilly, psychobilly, rock, metal, and that sort of thing. And so I love pomades, whether it's a water-based, a grease-based, because originally they used to be. They almost to be sort of petroleum jelly-based and everything, which is look why they were called greases and stuff like that, because obviously they had literally had grease in their hair. Now, obviously, stuff nowadays is a lot more technical advanced to what it used to be back then, um, because obviously now you're getting hybrid pomades and stuff like that, water-based pomades, but that's basically what a pomade is. It's kind of a hairstyling product that allows you to almost achieve like that high, shiny, sort of uh, pompadour sort of look and stuff like that. And as you can see with mine, mine's always back and everything like that. And so I do like my hair products. So as with all the reviews that I do, I'm completely unbiased. So if it's pretty bad, I will tell you that it's pretty bad and give you reasons why I don't like it. <coughs> We're gonna look at the packaging, look at the product itself. I have used this, this is not just an unboxing. And afterwards, because it's a skin product, beard product, hair product, Obviously, this one's a hair product. I will score it out at 20. 20 being fantastic, 10 being, yeah, it's all right, but it's nothing special. And zero, I would never buy this again if, I, if it was the only thing left on the market. So here we go. Now, before we start, this was the one that I reviewed last, which was the matte pomade, um, which almost kind of like a clay, um, kind of really good. Fresh barbershop scent, um, it was a matte, which means it doesn't look shiny or anything like that in your hair. And uh, It was almost kind of like a borderline clay, if you know what I mean. Really good hold on and everything. I absolutely loved the product. As with all the reviews I do, I will be slinging, gunsling, because I'm slinging. Um, I'll be slinging um, their website details and links down below in the description box, so please go check them out. And this is what they've sent through. Now... Not that you would assume looking at the label, this is actually a small UK brand. And this is their classic pomade. Uh, comes in a 75ml tin. The packaging, which I love, I do like the labeling on this. As you notice, exactly the same packaging, just different uh, 
kind of coloured writing on it. So this one you had the matte pomade, this one's a classic pomade, high shine. Um, yeah, high hold, this one, sorry, couldn't see it in the camera back from. And like I said, really good. Got all the ingredients and bump and everything on the back, recyclable as well, which is always great news. And I love the packaging. I, I show it on the last one, but you can see almost like that mottled, crackled paint effect on it. Like it's almost aged and distressed and everything. I, I love that whole look to these tins and everything. Um, it's not a label stuck on the front. It's actually printed on the front of the tin. And so like I say, 75 mil. And I'm screwing the top, having a look at the product inside. Oh, the camera does pick that. I was always, I was worried that it was just gonna show black. This is like a Ribena beetroot black currant red inside here. You can see where I've had my finger in, I've had a good old scrape out to use. The scent on this, let's have a smell of the other one again. Identical. The scents, uh, I'm not sure I'm putting the right one on. Scents between the two are exactly the same. Uh, this one, it, same as the other, it's kind of like got a very clean barbershop smell. If you can imagine walking into a barber's, that smell of kind of like the clean environment and everything, it smells exactly like it. It's really nice, really clean, fresh smelling stuff. Really, really nice. Now, the cool thing as well with all of their products that they do is they're vegan friendly, which is great news if you're a vegan out there, so they only use sort of like vegan friendly products in it. They're also cruelty free as well, which is another thumbs up because there is no animal anywhere on this planet that should be tested anything cosmetic wise, which is great. You know. Dogs do not need pomade and clay and stuff like that in their hair and stuff. So it's great thumbs up for me for being cruelty free. I've got a couple of little dogs as well. Also, it's made in the UK and it's been developed. All their products have been developed by professionals and stylists and stuff like that. So it's not just a couple of people scratching their heads, sort of making products and stuff. Now, talking about the product itself is a high shine. So... It doesn't make your hair look greasy. People often mistake shine and grease, as in you haven't washed your hair, as the same, but it's not. You can get a very high defined shine in your hair without it looking like you haven't washed it. Grease, that's a whole matty, nasty look. That is not what, when they say a high shine is. It's a very defined, slick look. You can pompadour it up and back as well, and stuff like that. Loads of different sort of styles from combing over and backs, and stuff like that. So that is when they say a high shine, medium shine, low shine, is how shiny it makes your hair look afterwards. Um, shinier than if you just put water through your hair. Now this has got a very good hold to it as well. Um, literally, I tested it for the day yesterday, put it in my hair first thing after showering and everything, works literally that much into my hands, mushed, mushed it through, through my hair and everything, comb, slicked it back, and went out for a wonder, came back, done three reviews as you saw, and great stuff towards the end of the day it was starting to fall and collapse a bit and everything else like that but comb under some warm water flicked it off straight back through the hair it reset itself because the cool thing with this product as well is it's water based it is not a grease based now the cool thing with having a water based is is it's re um styleable um if it was a grease well I say recyclable. Yeah, of course it's recyclable because it's water-based and you can just run some more water through it so you can restyle your hair. You could, to a certain degree, do the same with the grease products and everything like that. Um, but the bonus thing with it being water-based above everything else is the fact you haven't got to wash your hair five, six, seven times to get the product out from it. Um, I love classic pomades and it doesn't particularly bother me having to wash my hair three or four times in order to get it all out. But for some of us, we just want to wash it once, job done, out the hair, and it does. It literally comes out the hair after the first wash, and no skin irritation or anything like that, no problems with it whatsoever. And like I say, it's got a high hold to it, 
was quite breezy out and about yesterday, so didn't have any problems with it flying everywhere. And like I say, it's such a good product to work with that you can remold it, reshape, reshape it, restyle it, and stuff like that. So it doesn't sort of set, if you know what I mean. It's always kind of. Do you remember kind of Brill Cream? Brill Cream never set. It was one of those things that. I remember as a child when my granddad, bless him if he was still alive, um, used to go out and he looked really sort of suave and gentlemanly. He'd put the burial cream in his hair and he'd go out and his hair would blow away in the wind and he'd put his hair back and it would just stay there. The same sort of thing. It's really good hold, um, but it is remodelable, remoldable and restylable, which is a great product. Now the price on this for the 75 mil, which is this one, and they only do the one size anyway, so there's 75 mil on either sizes. Both exactly the same price, £8.95. Now, in my opinion, that is a very good price for either of the products or kind of any of the products that they do. They do waxes, clays and stuff like that because, as you know, men's grooming and everything has hit a massive spike at the moment. There's men going out to barbers, making themselves look nice and stuff like that, and people are going... That's what blokes are doing. We can charge an extortionate amount. And I have seen some very expensive products out there on the market that do exactly the same thing on this as this and the matte pomade, but uh, almost double the cost. So you're looking at like 20 odd quid for stuff like that, just because it's got a certain brand's name on it and stuff like that. Ultimately, they all do the same. And it's a fantastic product. £8.95, would I go out and buy this? Hell yes. I would quite happily go out and buy either one of these, both suitable for my hair, because my hair is a bit thin. I'm getting older, I've never had particularly thick hair, um, but it's a great product, and I highly recommend either, and I recommend them that much. If you don't like them, then there's something wrong with you, because they're extremely well-made products. Love the labelling on it, like I said, I like that whole retro, old Westy sort of style and Americana and everything. Uh, it's a great product. And it comes to scoring it out of 20. <coughs> Glug of coffee, because I'm losing my voice slowly for some reason. Mm -mm. Will I rate it the same as the matte pomade, which I scored 20 out of 20? Will I score the classic pomade? Lower all the same. Can't go any higher than 20 out of 20. I am going to score this after a lot of deliberation. 20 out of 20. Reason I'm scoring it 20 out of 20, it's a fantastic product made with the same exceptional quality as the other one that I reviewed, the matte pomade. It's great, it washes out. I think the price is absolutely fantastic because like I say, there are more expensive brands doing exactly the same sort of stuff out there. For double the price of this, you're talking 20, 25 quid. And for £8.95, it's a UK based thing. They literally said they were gonna send one through for me to have a look at. Two days later, it's there, drop through the letterbox. That's how quick it turned up. Uh, it's a great product. I would love to review more pomades and stuff like that because I love them. Love pomades and everything. They're just the kind of thing that I use in my hair because obviously, as you can see, slick backy sort of look. Um, it's a great product. Like I say, I will be putting links down below. And plus, I've heard that Gunslingers UK are going to be making, that's coming up very soon apparently, within the next few weeks or so, a beard oil. That's going to be interesting because as far as I know, they're only bringing out the one beard oil, same sort of labelling, in a bottle. And it's going to be interesting what their beard oil is like compared to their hair products. Because they don't have any other beard products out, there's no balms or anything like that. And I hope, sincerely, that they're exactly the same high standard and quality as their waxes, pomades and clays are because... Is great and it would, I would hate to see them bring out a product that isn't as good in my opinion as their top-notch stuff and you can tell that a lot of work has gone into those but yeah straight up 20 out of 20 for gunslingers like I say I will be putting links down below to their website Instagram and everything so please go check them out I hope you have enjoyed uh, another one of my reviews please keep on watching if any of you guys have any products out there you want me to help support um 
and kind of advertise or review or anything like that, please get in touch with me over on Instagram. I'm over there as Viking Beard Matt. Drop us a comment down below, message me over there, email me as well as if you like. But thank you guys. I really do appreciate each and every one of you out there. And like I say, I'm just doing this in my spare time. I do a full-time job and everything on top of this. Literally got home probably about half an hour ago, washed, changed, done, sorted the dogs out, wife's still at work, get the review done and everything. So I, this is a passion of mine that I want to continue doing. I'm not making anything at all whatsoever from it. The odd products occasionally getting sent through here and there and everything, a lot of the stuff I'm going out and sourcing myself and stuff. Um, so I want to keep this going to show you guys that there are decent products out there that we need to get behind. We need to help and support them. Otherwise, if we just carry on with the big brands, brands like this will go, what's the point? No one's buying it. We'll just stop. Gone. So then the only, only alternative we do have once brands like this stop the smaller brands is the big brands. So we need to get behind them, whether it's your own country, whether it's another country, as long as it is a small brand, small company, uh, small business, individuals, we need to get behind them, help them as much as we can. And that's what I'm doing this for. But thank you guys. Hope you have a wonderful evening, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on loving each other. Keep on growing those beards. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next review from The Bearded Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.